game time for the untouchable true school sports. Let's go, baby. Bow. Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so this is, in fact, the Tevin Farmer versus Raymond Murataya, or the Raymond Murataya versus Tevin Farmer profile review, and your result of the fight is a Raymond Murataya unanimous decision victory. Now, really interesting fight, I thought, you know, it, was, uh, it, w it wasn't like an all-out war. Uh, there really wasn't anything other than like one punch frame and landed in the 10th round like as far as, as as telling shots landed it was very much a chess match i thought tevin farmer's experience played a big role in this fight for how as far as how it played out because murataya is known as, a, as an aggressive front foot fighter you know he's big for the weight class he likes to impose himself on the fight and, and knock people out i thought tevin did a good job of feigning him i thought tevin did a good job of of just fighting the fight at the pace he wanted to um and I really just just before I even get into round by round of the fight, I I actually thought he won the fight. Um, I thought he banked so many of the early rounds that the point deduction really shouldn't have mattered. And Raymond did win some rounds down the stretch, but I I still think Tevin Farmer did more than enough to win the fight. But I understand boxing, I understand the politics and how this works. So I wasn't expecting him to to get a decision because of the fact that you know you got Raymond Murata, he's this young kid. They're, they're, they've, they've been talking about him and Keyshawn Davis. That's a big fight for the future. If they, if if the powers that be allowed Tevin Farmer to get a, a decision, the value of that fight goes down. But um, like yeah, the, both guys were holding. Tevin was holding. Ram was holding, but only one guy got penalized. So I just I think it was really unfair. I thought Thomas Taylor did a piss poor job today officiating, and um, it kind of sucks because you know Tevin Farmer. I thought boxed a really good fight. You know um. And it's just, it's, just, it's just how it goes. Ram Murataya may have got to win this fight, but I gotta, I gotta be honest. Like this fight, along with his last fight against Zolani and Dengeni, I've, I've been seeing a lot of flaws being absolutely exposed. I mean, he, he, um, I, I got a lot of love for Timothy Bradley. He's a friend of the channel, but like, I, I don't agree with him when, when he says that Murataya showed he can make adjustments tonight because the reason why this fight was fought at such a slow pace was because he, because he couldn't make adjustments. The reason why it took him ten rounds to land. One big straight right hand was because he couldn't make adjustments. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disagree on that. He has a lot of work to do. And I think top rank have to be very, very careful with how they match this kid. Because um, the other guys at 35, like William Zepeda, Keyshawn Davis, I, 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 I would favor all those guys to beat him. Um, Dennis Branchek is, a, is the safest option. But honestly, even what, what I just saw in the Tevin Farmer fight, what is Tevin Farmer? Tevin Farmer is a southpaw who likes to slow the pace down and, and can box on the outside. What is Dennis Branchik? An awkward southpaw with deep amateur experience that can slow the pace down and box you from the outside. So you're still gonna get the same sort of test in that fight. Um, it'll be a little bit different because obviously Branchik and Farmer are not the same style, but they do have some similarities and similar attributes. So I, I don't think Raymond Murataya is out in the clear. Even in a Branchik fight, I don't think he's out in the clear. So they're going to have to be very careful, and he's going to have to really improve because I'm not seeing a fighter that's improving. I'm seeing a fighter that's very much uh, stagnating. And, and in boxing, like life, if you don't get better, it means you're getting worse. So um, that's just how, it could, how that, that's how everything goes. Um, Tevin Farmer in his career, he's been criticized for uh, having a lack of a chin. He got clipped with a big right hand in the 10th round, did not go down, stayed up, showed a chin. He's been criticized for, um, you know, not being able to hold his ground in the pocket. He held his ground in the pocket many times tonight, landing a, a steady diet of straight left hands, left hand posh outs to the body. And um, I mean, look, I know you can't just go by combi box numbers. They're not... 100% accurate, but they, they, they can give you an accurate, they can give you a somewhat um, glimpse into what happened in the fight. And Farmer outlanded Murataya on a higher percentage. Murataya threw about roughly 40 more punches, which, you know, that's not a whole lot when you consider the fact that Murataya is a Robert Garcia fighter. Most Robert Garcia trained fighters are come for volume punchers. Murataya might be the only Robert Garcia fighter in the stable right now. Especially being that he's Mexican American, who don't even throw a lot of punches, so um, he's got work to do. Honestly, he, like, like I'm not, I'm not being a hater. Um, I got nothing against personal against Raymond Murataya. I never met him. I don't know him. I don't have anything against him. It's just, it's just I'm telling you what I'm seeing. 
He fought Zulani and Dengeni. He won that fight. Couldn't, he had a hard time cutting the ring off. Um, he was, it was a decent performance, steady performance. But, but, but for a guy that's looked at to be a, a next level, young, upper echelon fighter, he's just not delivering those kind of performances. So um, it is what it is. You know, Tevin Farmer, shout out to him. It was, it was, it, if, if, if that's going to be like his last, like, real good performance of his career, I, th I thought it was a good performance. I thought it was a performance that, you know, under fair circumstances, would have got him a decision, but Thomas Taylor and the powers that be decided, you know what, let's let's take away a point from Tevin Farmer and just F up his psyche going into the last three rounds of the fight, and um, they got the desired outcome. So congrats to Top Rank, congrats to the powers that be, congrats to Thomas Taylor on doing a hell of a job getting the result you wanted. Hopefully the Keyshawn Davis versus Raymond Murtai winds up being a, a big fight for boxing and, and, and all that stuff, but... um. That's all I'll say on this fight for now. Um, I'll have more videos I'll, on the other fights like Boots and Avenician and Ruben Villa getting upset by uh, Suleiman Tagal. That, that, that'll be out tomorrow, but uh, for now, I'll, just, I'll leave you guys with this. So uh, you can leave your thoughts down below. If any of you guys uh, disagree with me, I, I know for a fact I'm going to get people that from California that watch the channel. They're going to say, oh, you're being a hater. This, that, that. It is what it is. Just leave it down below. I'll read, I'll read them all. I'll even respond to some. Uh, Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your rest. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, Field in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.